Welcome to the LinkedIn studio, Mayur. Data science is emerging as a very aspirational space. Yeah. So how have you seen the space evolve? The term data science itself was not around uh, yeah. a decade back. And um, today everyone is talking about data science. I feel that data science can really improve a lot of products, uh, can actually make a huge difference mm -hmm. uh, to, to industry. You spent 12 years in Google. What is the difference that you see in working at Google and working at an e-commerce company? Uh, e-commerce company by definition is more than just a tech company. Yeah? But when you start looking at what happens behind the scenes, mm. there are so many elements to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I can safely say that it's almost like having four or five different companies mm -hmm. uh, under one umbrella. And the diversity and variety that is there in e-commerce is very different from a pure play consumer internet company mm -hmm. like uh, Google. With so much focus on technology, how important is upskilling? Oh, very important. I feel that the way technology is moving uh, these days, it's so fast paced. And if you're not uh, educating yourself, if you're not upskilling yourself every few years, you will get behind. Uh, it's it's true for organizations and it's true for individuals as well. Yeah. The right attitude that any uh, professional should have is how can I embrace that technology? Yeah. How do I understand what it is about? How do I upskill myself mm -hmm. so that I become relevant in the new world? The good news is that uh, there's so many resources online today. Mm -hmm. There's so many good courses. There's so many good uh, you know videos that you can find mm -hmm. on YouTube, on Khan Academy, and there are so many other uh, you know online teaching portals like Udacity that you can uh, utilize. Mm -hmm. And without spending a whole lot of money, you can upskill your employees. Okay. So I think everyone should make use of those courses, make use mm -hmm. of that content. Even universities, you know, some yeah. of that world class universities like Stanford, MIT, Berkeley have put a lot of content online that is free. You can yeah. listen to lectures by world class professors, and I think everyone uh, should uh, make use of these resources. When you hire such data scientists, is there any particular skill that you look for? Thinking big, uh, thinking about how can I do, let's say, self-driving cars in mm -hmm. the India context. Mm -hmm. That kind of passion and audacity is what we are looking for in our employees. How important is doing a course, a formal course, when someone wants a you know, career in data science? It is important, I feel. You know, that rigor um, and uh, the, the theoretical underpinnings and the uh, and the fo uh, the foundation that you have mm -hmm. actually can help you a lot in terms of being innovative in terms mm -hmm. of uh, thinking really big yeah so from that perspective i think a formal course is very important mm -hmm. and we do give a lot of value to it these days you have uh, uh, access to a lot of good content Absolutely. online yeah. so if you have not been able to do a formal course that should not stop you mm -hmm. you should say you know how how can i make up for a, a, a lack of formal training and how can i do a course in uh, udacity or coursera or uh, you know uh, other uh, providers like insofi and use that to make up for that uh, yeah. you know, formal education. So you could make up uh, using some of these resources, mm -hmm. uh, online resources and yeah. educational programs, I believe. You have done a PhD from Stanford. Right. Uh, what made you go for a PhD? If you look at uh, what I was doing even during my undergrad, I always loved computer science. I always loved the mathematics behind it. And I wanted to see how I can take that further. I wanted to you know, experience um, you know, some of the top class universities and I wanted to see how we can innovate on top of it. So that was, uh, you know, my motivation for me. I always wanted to do a PhD. I always wanted to do research. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Stanford is one of the most yeah. amazing places. And so when I got such an opportunity, I jumped onto it yeah. and it's been wonderful. So the ability to meet with some of the world class Nobel Prize winning, uh, you know, professors, or peer, uh, uh, you know, researchers who have then went on to become professors in some of these universities uh, was an opportunity I couldn't let go, certainly. Most people today are torn between whether to go for higher education or whether to stay in the industry. How do they make that choice? I know that uh, particularly when you're looking at a program like PhD, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a marathon. Mm -hmm. uh, to do that four, five years or sometimes even longer, of research after you've done an undergrad or after you've done a master's is no easy feat. Mm -hmm. um, so really you need to ask yourself the question, you know, does innovation, does research mean a lot to me? Mm -hmm. Is that something that really excites me? Every day when you wake up, uh, when you're doing a PhD, uh, you shouldn't uh, f uh, feel guilty or you shouldn't feel that, oh, there was an opportunity cost where I would have gone into the industry, where I would have, you know, made good salary and so on, right? Uh, you should really value why you are there, why you're doing research and why you love research. So I think somewhere, if you've been exposed to innovation, 
if you have done you know class projects or if you've done you know i know that um, these days even during undergraduate programs people do internships mm-hmm. people um, write publication papers the smart ones so i think if you've had an exposure to it that can give you a very good idea is this yeah. something you want to do going mm-hmm. forward so f- find that out for yourself look at where your aptitude lies and yes if your aptitude is in research i would say by all means mm-hmm. do a phd yeah but otherwise i think you know you can jump into industry mm-hmm. and i would say that i have seen many people who spent a couple of years in industry and since then have gone back to do a phd yeah. and that's a that's a great way too because doing that couple of years or two or three years in industry also gives you an awareness of what are the right problems to solve mm-hmm. out there and actually i feel that for an area like data science that's actually a great way to do a phd because data science these days is is being done more in industry than university yeah. and the reason for that is very simple you need data to power data science Absolutely. and and all the data lies in uh, uh, organizations like flipkart and uh, google and facebooks and linkedins of the world mm-hmm. so you need that oil that powers your machine yeah. and therefore to go there and figure out what are the right problems to solve in data science is is a great way to also lead into what problems you will do as part of your phd you know what problems you will solve as part of your phd yeah. so that's a very valid way and a very valid route to take mm-hmm. to do those 2 3 years and then go on to do phd particularly if you are interested in uh, data science topics <music>